we're gonna do a catch and cook so let's do this thing welcome back to outdoor habits today i'm out here catching whatever that's in the river catfish bass dogfish in particular a dogfish but if not we're gonna have a good time catching fish just being out here enjoying the outdoors so come along with me let's have some fun let's get some early morning smallmouth bass action and here in the fox river these smallies are aggressive when it comes to like top water because there's tons of bait fish super shallow just chasing after bait so three pounder will be real good here so let's see if we can catch it oh. Fish out. Oh my god, fish out. It's right on the drop. Let's go. Oh my god, the guy's big. Come on now. Oh my god, what is it? Holy, it's not a carp, is it? I didn't see that the carp, did I? Holy jeez. Oh, that's a nice smallie, dude. They are just mean and green. Smallmouth bass are one of the most powerful fish out here on the river. Nice keeper here on the fox. That was so cool. <laughs> Triple attacked it, man. That's so insane. Coming from the current. Let's go. He came back. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude, it's a three pounder, dude. This is a three pounder. Oh, we were just speaking it, and now we got. Oh my gosh. <laughs> dude. Let's get him on the scale. Almost three pounder. 18 and a half. Definitely different from your uh, smallmouth bass fishing out in the lake. There you go. Oh my gosh. Here we go, guys. Here. Oh my gosh, dude. They feel so big. A nice almost three pounder again. It's a walleye. Holy gosh. That's a nice walleye, dude. Look, swallow that thing. Got us off a nice walleye. So I'm gonna get a little piece of meat from the bluegill. See if we can catch a dogfish. Have a little nice piece of meat here. And put on the hook and throw into the shallow. See what happens. Let's go. Come on. On the bluegill meat. See what it could be. Oh, it's a nice channel. Ain't that a chunker? That's a channel catfish. Oh, finally got a bullfin. Finally, we got a bullfin, guys. Yeah. Been waiting all summer. Prehistoric fish. Finally did it. Guys, we finally did it. Prehistoric fish. They are vicious. They can breathe on air. They are just built to survive. And these guys has been living since the dinosaur age. And they can survive in the harshest environment. Their gills do not collapse like other fish. So they're able to breathe above water. Even the most harshest water condition, they can survive off of it. So just an amazing fish. We're gonna keep this one and we're gonna eat it. Let's do this. I got the heat, I got that fire. Yeah. Torch got that heat, he got that fire. Yeah. Fire the street, hair pop. Bowfin, aka dogfish, has been living for about 180 million years ago. And one special ability that allowed the bowfin to survive for such a long time since the dinosaur time is that they can breathe through air. Unlike many freshwater fish, bowfin are able to survive in the most harshest environment. Bowfin are not invasive, they're native to North America. Bowfin will basically eat anything, so we are gonna use a lot of salt, and the salt is what's gonna kinda help keep things nice and uh, together. It's gonna basically cook the meat inside the fish so you don't have to worry about gutting the fish we are eating a prehistoric fish here isn't that crazy it's gonna be amazing i cannot wait are you guys ready because i am it's time to eat i'm gonna crack open the skin here they have some real tough skin plenty plenty of meat on this fish look at that <laughs> give it a try man look at this meat dip into a little special chili pepper that i made at home Mm. It does not have any fish smell to it. Gosh, unbelievable. Mmm. Big chunk. Just some spicy sauce. Woo, look at that. Isn't that pretty? Mmm. What's my right? The best fish meat I 
ever had in my life. There's nothing gamey about this fish at all. It even had like a little sweet to it, a little bit of those salt that gets onto the meat. Nice, nice flavor to it. Unbelievable. Right here, there's a chunk of meat here. I'm gonna go for this big one. Mmm. Mmm. Pour it onto the meat. Let's give it a shot. Mmm. It's salty, you guys. This is fire. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoy this catch and cook bowfin edition. And I hope that you don't overlook these fish next time you catch them. And comment down below if you want to see some more catch and cook videos. I will see you on the next adventure.